When Joseph Smith arrived back again in Fayette, his authority was being challenged by Hiram Page, one of the eight witnesses of the Book of Mormon. Page, like Joseph, claimed to use a seer stone to receive revelations that were binding on all members of the church. At first, Joseph tried to sidestep the issue. However, he changed his mind when he found out that his second in command, Oliver Cowdery, and other prominent Mormons were taking Page's revelations seriously. Joseph Smith, in an effort to reassert his authority, inquired of the Lord as to what he should do. Section 28 was received shortly thereafter and just prior to a scheduled general conference of the church. Page's stone and his purported revelations became an agenda item at the conference. Joseph Knight reported that after considerable investigation and discussion, Brother Page and all the members of the church present renounced his stone and the revelations connected with it. Section 28 confirmed that Joseph was the person appointed by the Lord to receive commandments for the entire church. As the church developed, Joseph would begin to share more and more leadership responsibility with the members of the church. Ultimately, spiritual and administrative authority would be shared by the members of the First Presidency as a body and the other organizations of the church.